Yeah, nice one, Clyde. Clyde! Clyde! Clyde, get up here! Hurry! What is that? A toilet? That's right, it's a toilet, Clyde. And where is the toilet seat? It's up. Because you left it up, again. We've been through this countless times, Clyde. Okay, Bob, just not in front of my friends, okay? No, not okay, because you aren't getting the message. What if I had fallen in? Start listening to me. Put it down, put it down. Thank you. Dude, that sucks, Clyde. A mom shouldn't be able to put rules on toilet time like that. Toilet time is the last bastion of American freedom. Is your mom always like that, dude? Look, could you guys just not say anything about this at school, please? Of course, man. It's cute. Clyde! Clyde! What if I told you about pissing on the seat? And Clyde's all like, ah, okay, mom, fuck, not in front of my friends. <laughs> Hartman, it was actually really lame. I know, right? Women are just jealous because they have to face outwards to pee and crap. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're supposed to poop in a toilet facing out? But I thought you sit on the toilet this way. So you have that nice little shelf for your comic book and your chocolate milk? Well, because then you got the flusher right here. No? Oh, geez, that's embarrassing. Clyde! Clyde! There you are! Bob? Clyde Donovan, you come home this instant! Why? What have I told you about putting the toilet seat down after you go to the bathroom? Mom, I'm in class! How many times do I have to tell you, Clyde? I was trying to get ready for work and the toilet seat was up again! Betsy, come back home. It's just not that big a deal. No, Roger, it's a disgusting habit and I am sick and tired of it! If I had sat down, I would have gotten toilet water all over my vagina! My grandma's from Virginia! You are coming home right now, Clyde, and you are putting the toilet seat down where it belongs. Let's go! Dude, I'm telling you, it was freaking hysterical. Clyde had to get up in the middle of class and follow his mom home to put the toilet seat down. He was so embarrassed, dude, I thought he was gonna die. I know, fat ass, I was there. <laughs> his, his, mom, his mom goes, Clyde, you're an asshole, and now I got toilet water in my vajayjay. That's not what she said. You're putting extras on it again. It's not that funny. I know, dude. The bathroom's the last bastion of American freedom. Don't you feel just a little bad for Clyde? Uh-uh. Well, you should. The poor guy shouldn't be screamed at for something that just isn't that big a deal at all. What's going on? They're trying to save Clyde's mom. From what? They're saying Clyde left the toilet seat up again. Ah! Uh! Uh, uh. Hang in there. You're gonna be fine, okay? Uh. Stay with me now. I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. What? When she fell into the toilet, she also made it flush. It created a suction that's literally pulling out her insides. Can't we disconnect the toilet from the plumbing? Yes, we'll have to, but when we do that, the change in pressure will rip out her organs. But she's not gonna die, is she? Why'd you leave the toilet seat up, son? Clyde! 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 I want you to know I don't blame you for this. We should have been harder on you all those times you left the toilet seat up. Bob, I'm sorry. Shh, shh, shh. I don't have a lot of t time, Clyde. Just please put the seat down from now on. Please, let me go. Let me go. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'll always remember Betsy Donovan's kind nature more than anything. She always treated people with dignity and respect. What a tragedy she had to leave us so soon. But I'm sure Betsy is hoping her death will help women everywhere just take that extra second to look before they sit on a toilet. I'd like to say, on behalf of the departed, that it isn't a woman's responsibility to see that the seat is down. It's a man's responsibility to put it down. It's not that hard. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. 
putting the toilet seat down isn't that hard. So is it too much to ask women to just look and put it down before they go plopping their butts blindly to the toilet bowl. My God, people, this is a funeral. Please have some respect. There's a little boy here who has lost his mother. He'll never see her again because he couldn't take that six tenths of a second to put the toilet seat down when he was done peeing. Now little Clyde's mother is dead and the blood is on his penis. Get the door! Hello, ma'am. We're the Toilet Safety Administration. The what? After the recent tragedy, new safety regulations require us to check every toilet for security. Can we come in? Uh, sure. Who are these buttholes? It's the Toilet Safety Administration, hon. They're gonna do something to the potty. My potty? What are they gonna do to it? Hey, hey, that's my bathroom! Oh, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to completely redo this, ma'am. Oh. You need to have this counter moved a minimum of six inches, but we'll go ahead and install your safety belt. Safety belt? Federal law requires all toilets to be fitted with a safety harness so that nobody can fall in. <laughs> 